everybody. This is Jim Kurtz with uh, Harvest Harmonics, and I want to welcome you to today's episode of Innovations in Agriculture. And on today's show, I want to talk about um, a subject that's um, it's gaining some more steam. It's starting to percolate through the marketplace, right? Um, you know, farming and agriculture is not necessarily known to be uh, what we say the most innovative or cutting edge type of an industry. However, there are a lot of innovations in agriculture that are happening on a continual basis. Some of it has to do with soil amendments and inputs and fertilization, fertility programs. So a lot of it is being done in the world of genetics and not just genetic modification, but also hybrids and, and that kind of stuff. A lot of it's been doing, a lot of stuff has been going on in pesticides and those types of things. And the, the bottom line is, as we continue to uh, understand more and more about plant physiology and, and production, we, we are adopting these. And of course, we now have also a lot of other uh, innovations in agriculture, like drone technology, like um, robotics and other things that are making it easier um, and more productive. In today's episode, though, and in, what I want to talk about is a competitive advantage, right? Um, that's something that I think is important for a lot of reasons. Um, it's important from an economic standpoint. It's important from the standpoint of uh, profitability. It's important from the standpoint of um, having better quality. And, and it's important from a regulatory standpoint. I mean, in the last two years, obviously, we've had COVID. And one of the big concerns has been food safety, you know, quality of food and where that food's coming from. And is that food contaminated? You know, if a food supply comes from China, now we're looking at, well, the coronavirus originated in China. So maybe that food could be contaminated, you know, or, or you know, no matter where it's from, obviously, the more something travels, the more it can be exposed to these types of things. So competitive advantage works in a lot of ways, and it affects a lot of a lot of Parts of the industry. So, in today's episode, I want to give you the um, the opportunity to take advantage of something that will give you a competitive advantage over your your fellow farmers and and other farmers in other regions. Uh, in fact, I just got off the, a call with a farmer, an apple farmer here in the United States, and he was, you know, obviously as, as I was going through some of the different results we've had, um, you know, in South America, India, and other countries, he was saying, you know, a lot of these countries are really uh, they have an unfair advantage over farmers here in the United States. And and I was asking him, well, why? He says, well, because their labor cost is almost nothing. So their their cost of production is so much lower than here in the United States that they can literally just dump their product and make, you know, you know, sell their product for quite a bit less than they can even produce it here in the United States. So, you know, they they he was he was kind of frustrated with that. I said, okay, well, what are you going to do about that? What are you going to do about the fact that the farmers in the, in South America and Mexico and other countries um, are able to produce products much, much less expensively than you can. How do you compete with that? And he's like, well, I don't know. That's the problem. I can't compete with that. I said, well, you're going to have to produce more product and produce better quality product and obviously take advantage of, you know, initiatives like organic farming or, you know, local farming, local production and those types of factors um, in order to compete. But the thing you really need to do is improve your profitability and your production. In fact, this little device right here, it's kind of any, you know, he was asking me, well, how much does your system cost? When I told him, he says, well, I, I don't know that I can invest that much money in my farm. because He's got you know, several hundred acres, obviously. And I said, well, why don't you use one of these? And he's, and he's like, well, what is that? I said, well, this is a, a, a single transmitter. You know, one of our systems that uses radio wave technology, there's a single transmitter underneath here on this two inch pipe fitting. So this this device right here can cover, depending on how your irrigation system's laid out, it can cover two or three acres. You know, why don't you um, put this on two or three acres and watch the difference? Because at the end of the day, in order for you to determine if something is really worth the price you're paying for it, I don't care if I'm charging a dollar an acre or a thousand dollars an acre or ten thousand dollars an acre. At the end of the day, what's going to make my product, you know, cost effective is what kind of results it can produce and then how much does it cost versus that result. You know, if I told you this thing right here is worth $10,000 and you might look at this going, wow, why is that worth 10,000? And I say, well, because it's going to make you $100,000 in extra yield. Then you might look at it that goes, okay, that's an investment. That's something that I can get by. Now, just to let you know, this doesn't cost $10,000. It's not anywhere near that. In fact, these little devices cost $1,000. Now, imagine to yourself, if you could, um, 
invest a thousand dollars in your farm to something that will give you a competitive advantage to not just the overseas growers, but the, the growers around the corner and, and allow you to produce quite a bit more and reduce your cost of uh, overall labor. Because unless you're growing strawberries or something that's hand picked, you know, the more you produce per acre or per unit of land, you know, the more profit you're going to generally make. And if you can then also take care of the soil health, which is what our technology does too, and reduce the amount of uh, inputs you have to use, that's going to be a tremendous advantage too. Now, the cool thing about you know farming locally here in the United States and shipping it locally versus the farmers that have to ship it from South America or India or everywhere else to the United States is there's travel time and travel cost. And in case you haven't figured out, you know, whether you want to blame it on the, the current administration or, or not, or just the, the pandemic in general, there's a lot of problems getting getting goods moved around the world these days. And so those farmers that are having to ship it halfway across the world to get here are going to find out that their product never actually arrives. And that gives you an advantage. Now, this little device will give you a competitive advantage, too, for a couple of reasons. You're going to improve the quantity of your yield by 20 to 30%. You're going to improve the quality of your yield and get better quality so that your product will look better and taste better and be more appealing than other products on the market. And of course, um, the fact that you'll be able to reduce your input cost over time it will help as well. So we don't, you know, at Harvest Harmonics, our whole mission is we just want to get this technology in as many farms as possible, you know. We would love to get it on your entire farm. If you have a thousand acres, we would love to sell you a thousand acres just because we know that you're going to make so much more money doing your whole farm than you would if you just did a small trial that we would love to help you become more profitable and make a lot more money this next year. But if you're more skeptical or you just want to see it work before you invest, that's fine. Pick up one of these devices and, sh and prove it to yourself. Show yourself what this technology can do. Okay, prove it to yourself. Don't li listen to what your neighbor has done or the guys in South America have done and the guys in India have done and the guys in, at, at you know, XYZ University have done. You know, buy a small device, put it on a section of your farm and, and watch, actually look and measure the differences. And when you see what this technology can do, you're going to be blown away and you're going to be ordering the rest of it anyway. Uh, because you're gonna, you, you, at that point, it's just an economic decision. It, it wouldn't make sense not to. But I want to show you just real quick today, guys, um, just a few examples of how we're giving farmers a competitive advantage here. So this particular this is this is actually a university trial, so it's not necessarily a profitable thing for the farmer for this particular farmer. But this university in Colombia is a tier one ag university in Colombia, and they're producing 14 foot tall corn plants with this with our technology. And these these uh, plants are only three months old. Now, it'd be one thing if we said, okay, it's great that you have big corn plants, but how much is it actually producing? Well, the treated corn plants here are producing tassels and buds for two ears of corn per stalk. And the untreated, or the control group, hasn't even uh, started sprouting yet. So they haven't, we haven't even gotten buds yet. So um, we're predicting that we're going to get two to three ears per stalk with this, and then the control is only going to get the standard one per stalk. But of course, we'll let you know what the final results are uh, at the end of this trial, which should be in a few months here. You know, faster growth rates uh, common, you know, zero pesticide use. You know, we, we, we highlight the production increase of these pepper plants, but really the agronomist was blown away, zero pesticide use in this greenhouse. Now imagine if you're growing in greenhouses or you're growing in areas where there's a lot of humidity and a lot of problems with funguses and disease, imagine not having to spray because the insects and funguses and other diseases are not a problem. That's what this agronomist said. It's the first time in 17 years he didn't spray his, any you know, tree greenhouse, and he's never seen that before. So he's very, very happy with this. That's reduction of input cost right there. Again, tomato plants, again, zero pesticide use while, while improving the quality of these tomatoes. You know, zero minor fly here. Again, better, more production with less insects. You know, again, 27% increase on in our nut jokes, less nematodes in the soil, less, less harmful, destructive microorganisms there. More vigorous growth on squash. These squash plants are four feet off the ground. You know, I mean, we're talking about a 15 to 18% increase in overall squash, but these squash plants are healthier than they've ever looked before. Reduction of mite infestations from 48% down to less than 10%. I mean, if you have mites or thrips or other things that are devastating your crops, you need to be using this technology. You could, you could save 30 or 40% right there just in terms of reduction of loss. I mean, huge differences there. 
India. Again, we've, we've, we've been piloting this all over the world. Our mission is not just to help American farmers. Of course, we want to help American farmers. I'm, I'm an American. I want to support America. I want to buy local. I want to buy organic. And I want to help American farmers. But at the end of the day, all I can do is present the opportunity. You guys have to take advantage of this. And so if you guys are looking for a competitive advantage, utilize this technology. Just grab a, a test kit here and utilize this and prove it to yourself. Literally, if I just got everybody using a one, uh, one or two inch device here, a single transmitter device and showing themselves how much of an increase they can see, um, my job next year is going to be super easy. You know, agrarian university, 26%. I mean, 18% increase in production, 55% increase, 32% increase, 33% increase. I mean, am I getting your attention yet, guys? If you want a competitive advantage, if you're looking for more yield, and this is not everybody, I understand, but if you're looking for more yield, there is no other technology or no other solution that will produce anywhere near the results. In fact, by a factor of 10. Um, I mean, I've talked to a lot of fertilizer guys. I've talked to a lot of other guys. And, you know, I've talked to hundreds of farmers at this point, And they tell me, look, if you can get me 5%, I'll be happy. And we're getting, like, double-digit increases. So if you want a competitive advantage, this is the technology you need to be using. Now, beyond production, we're seeing quality improvements as well. So this cherry grower not only got 25% more cherries, he got he got a dollar more per kilogram more on the Kiminasi field versus control. He made $140,000 per hectare this last year. I mean, I know cherries are a high value crop, but imagine increasing your profitability by 20,000 an acre. I mean, it, that's a competitive advantage. This farmer got a five point increase in bricks rating and, and a big, much bigger plum size than before. That's a competitive advantage. I mean, 10% increase in size with better bricks to acidity ratio than ever before. That's a competitive advantage. 56% increase in exportability is a competitive advantage on their blueberries. Now, again, I would love to support American blueberries. I would love to help American farmers see numbers like this. But at the end of the day, I, I can only pre present opportunities. It's the people that want to jump on these opportunities that are going to win with this. And the guys that want to wait, the guys that, that don't jump on this, they're, they're going to be falling behind. I hate to say it. This farmer was an American farmer, an organic farmer, didn't even fertilize these grapevines. He said, don't try not fertilizing. He said, okay, I won't fertilize the grapevines. So he didn't fertilize. He grew, he grew grapes that had a 25 bricks. They were six points higher than his standard bricks rating just by using Kiminas. And as I mentioned before, soil health improvements, we're seeing better microbial activity in the soil, uh, reduction of saline or high salt content, and better uh, tolerance to brackish water as well. Some examples here, again, reduction of soil conductivity, reduction of salt uh, content here from uh, high ranges down to standard ranges, uh, reduction of water usage on almond trees uh, from by 66%. I mean, 66%. There are farmers in California right now that are ripping up their trees instead of using our technology. And I, I, I don't even know what to say. You know, it's to me, it doesn't make any sense. It, if, if you're literally looking at this, so going, I can't afford to grow almonds in, in my in my state anymore because I'm not, uh, you know, it costs too much money in water and it costs too much money for fertilizer, both of, both of which is going up next year, by the way. Um, if, if that's your situation, I, I implore you, utilize this technology. You know, we guarantee it. We back it up. You can't lose money with Kim and Oscar plant booster. So take advantage of this opportunity and invest in your farm instead of pulling the trees out because it's, it does you no good to just give up. Instead of giving up, Invest in your farm, invest in the right technology. It's going to produce the results that give you the competitive advantage you need. Uh, this one here, look at this. Uh, salt damage. Imagine that your tree is looking like this on the left here with all the salt damage, looking very sickly, not very well. And then after utilizing the Kiminasi plant booster for you know six months, here look at the trees now. They came back, the canopies are healthy again, they're producing more, and they're using less water also. So uh, I'm going to go into the summary here. We've got farms all over the United States using this, by the way, and uh, in South America, as I've seen, as I've shown you, uh, farms all over, uh, you know, Peru, Ecuador, Italy, I mean, just, uh, excuse me, um, Chile, all over the place. But I want to show you some of these results because I haven't even shown you the best results yet. You know, we we always save these for last. On the major presentations that I normally do, I don't show you the big results because. It's been our experience that most farmers don't believe it. When you say, hey, I can get double, you know, triple your growth, double your growth, they say, nah, I don't believe it. So I figured today, being in the holiday season, it's Christmas time, you know, 
you have the opportunity here. I want to show some of our bigger results from this last year. This grower got 130% increase in potato production. He more than doubled his production in with Kiminasi plant producer. He was getting two uh, tubers per plant uh, more with Kiminasi. This dairy farmer just watered his pasture with Kiminasi plant booster. And yes, it's the same farmer, same guy. He's got a, a dairy farm and a, and a potato farm. But this guy basically, he just said, well, it's working so well on my potatoes. Let me try it on my dairy farm. So what he did was he, he watered the pasture with Kiminasi. And he noticed that he reduced his rotation time from 30 days to 16 days, meaning he doesn't have to have as, as big of a pasture now to graze his cattle. And, and the other thing is over a three month period, the average cow increased their milk production by six liters per cow per day. So over the whole course of his whole herd, he was getting 140 liters of milk more just by watering the, the Kiminasi plant booster. I mean, doing nothing else. I mean, just imagine the differentials there. Uh, pepper production, again, 97% increase on these peppers. Um, and when you look at the, the, the peppers themselves, you see why we're getting such a weight differential. It's not just that we're getting more peppers, but we're seeing bigger results too. So you see how much thicker and heavier and denser these peppers are with Kiminasi versus control. In fact, when we weighed uh, a sampling from you know, uh, 45 and 38 fruits of, of the control and the test, we saw an average of 35 grams per pepper with Kiminasi versus an average of 21 grams per pepper on the control. So we're filling out those peppers and really increasing the weight as well. Um, on rice patties here, we got um, differentials here in root structure, differentials in overall size and quality of the rice. But the, a big difference was the reduction of nematodes and fungi. You know, the thing is, when you have healthy plants and a fungus attacks it, you may still get some lesions here or there. But a fungus, when, once it gets into a plant, will start to spread and really reproduce itself. And that can create huge problems because if the plant's not healthy, they're going to succumb faster. The fungus will take over and then they, they spread their spores everywhere. The next thing you have is a widespread infection rate throughout multiple plants in your crop. But when the plant's healthy, it, it keeps that infection localized. So it's not spreading all over your field. It stays in a very localized area. And in this case, we reduced by 50% the fungi and nematodes. 70% increase. This is one of our earliest trials way back in 2015. Um, in fact, our technology is about 20 or 30 times more powerful than, than it was then. But even back then, we were getting 70% increases in peppers. Again, filling in that weight uh, of these peppers. Huge difference there. Uh, grapes, this is one of our early ones in grapes where we, in just 44 days, we increased uh, the yield by 7%. And over the whole season, over the two seasons that we did this, it was more like 25% increase. But just in the first 44 days, we got 7% yield increases. But look here, he sold the grapes for 35 cents, 34 cents per kilogram more. In other words, he's making more money by improving the quality of the grapes. You know, huge difference there. In Washington State, 30% increase in uh, in uh, melon production with a four to five point increase in bricks as well. Now, I had a chance to taste some of these melons, and I swear to God, these are the sweetest melons I've ever tasted. In fact, we had this is back in 2019. We had a special summit where we had you know members, uh, former Holland Globetrotters. We had you know diff different uh, people of, of influence within and around agriculture, uh, people connections to presidents and ministers of agriculture, etc. And they, you know, patiently listened to us as we presented this opportunity back then when we first launched this product. But then we had our one of our farmers, Art Heinemann, send us a case of fruit all the way from Washington here to Florida. And when they tasted the fruit from, from Art, um, they completely changed. It went from, okay, this is interesting to, oh, my God, we have to get this everywhere. We have to get this. This is amazing. This is the best tasting fruit I've ever had. I've never had fruit like this. This is incredible. I feel like I'm getting younger. I mean, they were just raving about the, the, the quality of this produce as well. And um, again, one of our early trials back in 2018, we had a trial here in South Africa on spinach and kale. And look how much greener and healthier the spinach and kale are on the left here with Kiminasi plant booster versus control. In fact, you see germination rates, huge differences there where a lot of the germination wasn't coming through uh, on the control row too. 30% uh, faster growth rate on tangerine trees. I mean, these are this was done in a 30-day period. Imagine growing 30% faster in 30 days, and you see all the new growth here on the left uh, versus no new growth on the right here. Uh, citrus, again, this was uh, one of our early trials. This is actual side-by-side -side comparison. 
one-year-old seedlings on the left here with Kiminasi compared to two-year-old seedlings on the right. And look at the difference when compared against the truck here, literally like doubling uh, the growth rate in half the amount of growth time. And root structure, we're seeing huge, huge differences in root structure and density. And that's, of course, translating to more branch growth and better, faster growth on these cherry trees. Uh, and you see over a four-month period, the differences when we started here, they all look like sticks. After a month, we, are, we had improvements in branches. And then after four months, we already had canopies developing. Huge, huge differences there. On lemon trees, again, look at the difference in root structure here on the top. And then you can see how much greener and, and healthier they look on the middle picture here in the crop booster versus uh, on the bottom here, very unhealthy looking on the control field. Wheat production, we got 25% overall in wheat production here. And you see how much denser and greener the, the wheat plants look during, uh, during their watering phase. In Mexico here, and uh, overall we got about a 25% increase there. Uh, pepper plants again, 85% increase in pepper production on this field. Um, on average, we we're getting 30 peppers per plant. Huge, huge difference. Strawberries, 100% increase in yield on strawberry production. But um, and this was done at the uh, the Ecuador University here, one of the top universities in Ecuador, where they they tested this against um, a heat stress environment, and huge, huge difference was there. So. Guys, I don't know. I don't know what else to tell you. If you want a competitive advantage, you need to be using Kiminasi plant booster. There's just no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Again, we don't need you to invest hundreds of thousands of dollars to prove it to yourself. Look, guys, this is a thousand bucks. This is one thousand dollars to prove to yourself that this technology that's working everywhere else and all over the world will work on your farm and produce a competitive advantage for you over your competitors. So how much do you want it? You know, it's it's really easy to complain about problems. It's a little harder to do something about it. And this product will do something about it. It's fully guaranteed. It's not that expensive. And it will prove to you that this technology is the future of, of farming. Now, the other thing I'll mention is for you guys who don't, uh, who are looking to jump in with a little bit more of an investment, anybody right now, this is uh, December 17th, anybody that, that jumps in in the next week by the 23rd of December, who jumps in and orders 25 acres or more, which is about 10 hectares or more, will receive the same amount of technology at no charge. It's a two for one special. Um, it's a minimum of 25 acre investment. And we wanna reward those guys who are jumping in and taking advantage of this opportunity. And we wanna reward action takers. And of course, we wanna help out guys that, that really need and want something that's gonna benefit their farm. So if you wanna jump on that, uh, definitely give us a call here. Uh, our phone number is there on the screen, 727-324-6750. Uh, you can also go to our website at harvestharmonics.com and fill out a request for quote form uh, about your farm, and we'll be happy to run the numbers for you to make sure it's profitable. But um, that's basically all I got today, guys. I want to thank you so much for joining us here this year. Uh, we are running uh, specials for next week. I will not be, we will not be open on Christmas Eve, so you have until the 23rd, guys. Uh, jump on board with this. Grab a small pipe and, and do a small trial or order 25 acres or more and get uh, a huge, huge, uh, huge, huge deal. And, and we'll, we'll match your, your investment on and take advantage of this opportunity while you have a chance. Because at the end of the day, we want to help farmers all over the world, not just in South America, not just in Africa, not just in India. We want to help guys here in America and, and everywhere around the world grow healthier, better quality of produce so that everybody has healthier food to eat. And of course, we want to put more money in the farmer's pockets. And if you take advantage of this opportunity, you're definitely going to see more money next year and the following year than you ever thought possible on your farm. So jump on board with this while you have the opportunity. And um, I look forward to talking with you soon. Have a great, great day, guys, and a great weekend. And we'll see you again next week.